Only the Crown's country could assemble a euphoric sport bike in such a way that the only sensation you take away from the riding experience is pain. Oh, so British. Well, you hate my taste, then you hate my bike. I can't let it stand, I can't let it fly. Triumph Daytona on the road. Powers up like Konami codes. This is a brand new The Triumph Daytona is as unconcerned with your comfort as a glass Weegian cider drinking husband who's convinced his wife to let him dry docker. Ow, 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 ow. Fellers who aren't into motorcycles will call the Triumph Daytona 675 a crotch rocket because it's not a Harley and it has plastic covers. They will also call a Kawasaki Ninja 250 a crotch rocket as well. If you press a sideline motorcycle enthusiast, they'll tell you that a crotch rocket is made in Japan, has four cylinders, flips over backward if you step on the gas, and flips over frontward if you step on the brake. By using commoner logic, I suppose this isn't a crotch rocket because it's from the UK, not Japan. It has three cylinders, not four, and it doesn't do any of those crazy things you Described. Think of the Triumph Daytona as the covered up version of the Speed Triple. Its three pot block makes 123 crank horsepower and it's completely bored if you click up the sixth gear and rumble along. Fill this bike up with fuel and oil and, and don't forget the air too because air does add weight and it weighs 418 pounds or thereabouts. Torque peaks at 11,700 RPM and horsepower peaks at 12,600 RPM. I know, right? Like, people are like, oh my. Like the Honda VTEC, only oh, like 8,000 RPM. When you get in the bikes, <laughs> this thing goes 12,000 RPM. The turn signals are integrated into the mirrors, which is good because that stops people from getting those cheap, dim, fake, carbon fiber flush mount stick on turn signals from bike master they're about as bright as the first game boy advance and they add no value to the bike in fact they make your bike worth less because people see those dumb stick on turn signals like oh a complete idiot owned this bike like that's the limit of your wrenching skills sticking on the oh look you eliminated the fender. Nice. Understand what happens when you do this. When you get rid of the fender, all the mud and road grime and ash and cinders and all those little stones that are covered in that weird tar, all of that gets flung up into the Daytona's undertail exhaust. And then it gets glued to the exhaust because the exhaust is hot. Motorcycles spoil you because the build quality is so much higher than mid-level sports cars and they're so much faster. Again, the Triumph Daytona makes about the same power as a Mazda Miata, but it weighs 400 and change pounds, while the Miata weighs 2,000 and change pounds. And that's why a bike like this should never be your first bike. If you buy a Triumph Daytona, or for that matter, a Speed Triple, and that's your first bike, I have no compassion for you. You deserve whatever happens to you. I mean, you, that is Darwinism just working its way out. I mean, that even goes for any 600cc bike. Okay, I'll make an exception for the Suzuki Savage 650, because that's a big one lunger. But man, a track day oriented bike like this, you're dumb if you buy this as your first bike. Uh, I want a bike that I can grow into or uh, I want a bike that I can, it's not going to bore me when I start. Uh, I leave the stickers on my hat. Uh, I throw down my Xbox controller when I lose. Uh, if you can't go Greek, go Teak. Here's what's going to happen if you buy a Speed Triple or a Triumph Daytona as your first bike. Yes, you will be able to ride it. Yes, nothing's gonna happen if you're just cruising around. And really, nothing's gonna happen if you go fast either. It's got big brakes, it stops no problem, its suspension is amazing, it can be adjusted to fit you, and because it's a triple, you can go slow in a high gear and you're not gonna lug the engine. But here's the problem. You're 21 and you're riding a speed triple and you're sitting at a stoplight and a Mitsubishi Lancer pulls up right next to you and you catch eyes with the driver and you look at him and he becomes your ex-girlfriend's new boy friend in your mind and your whole body just fills up with testosterone and bad decisions and you look at him again and he looks at you and his eyes call you a fag and now it's on and all those promises of being careful that you made when you bought this bike instantly they go out the window you rev it up to seven grand dump the clutch and you're both off and you're about to become just another one of those statistics that happens on our motorcycles because the next thing you see is going to be one of two things the flashing red and blue lights of the officer and then the flashing red and white lights of the ambulance when you try to outrun them because a Triumph Daytona is always edging you to go faster. It wants it. Triumph built 
a brilliant engine, but you have to be intelligent enough and mature enough to be able to handle it. And it's such an easy bike on which to go fast. This is the official bike of grunting loud and cursing louder. The Triumph Daytona, a motorcycle for the guy who bangs hard and bangs often. He bangs her so deep, sonic rings come flying out. He bangs her so deep when he pulls out, they declare him the king of Camelot. The Triumph Daytona comes from a long line of masculine exceptionalism. It's gender affirmative therapy on wheels. This bike says, you're a guy and it's okay to be a guy. Sure, in your Smirnoff eyes, women are taking over the world, but they'll never take my Triumph. In short, a Daytona escalates every mild situation. A scuffed pair of canvas shoes becomes the red wedding and before you know it, you're gunning your way to a five-star wanted level. A Triumph Daytona 675. This is a British import that demands a certain kind of rider with patience and Sherlock Holmesian logic because a Daytona will get fed up, disruptive, and argumentative with you faster than a fidgety child wondering why the grown-ups keep talking at the table long after dinner is over at Ruby Tuesdays. Look at this bike, what could it be? A triumph at abnormal speed. 